Hello, I'm Trent Noahsad with Case IH. Today we want to give you a quick overview of the interface that we use on our Precision Air 5 Series air carts. All Case IH seating products use an ISO interface. This ISO interface will work on either our AFS Pro 1200 monitor or our Pro 700 monitor. Today we'll show you it on our AFS Pro 1200 monitor. When you first fire up the AFS Pro 1200 monitor, it will appear up on run screen one. Run screen seven, and we have it labeled as ISO, is the ISO interface. This interface is coming directly from the ECU on the air cart and controls all the functions to set, calibrate, and run your air cart. We use a fairly flat architecture with the uh, interface, with the ISO interface. The first thing that pops up is the run screen. We'll walk through each of the functions on the run screen, starting at the left-hand side here. The first two blocks we see here, and these are soft keys, are our displays for fan RPM. This is a double shoot air cart, so we have two of these. If we tap on this, like I did, we'll be able to set our parameters for our alarms, our low alarm set and our high alarm set. Because this is a double shoot cart, as I mentioned, we have two of these displays. One of these fans can be shut off or the alarm can be shut off so it's not warning you when not operating that fan. And there's a slide key to accomplish that. Continuing from left to right is our two tanks. And you can see in the, uh, in the interface that the cart is displayed or animated in a lifelike format. Each of these two tanks are representative. These blue blocks on top is where we can set our rates. So we're able to adjust our rates from here, either up or down. or we can enter in a rate manually instead of scrolling. We also have our delta adjustment rate setting. This is a figure that we can pop in there to change how much that goes up by. And then we have a percentage alarm to indicate how far off or to warn us when we get off of rate by such amount. And this is set to 5%. The same is also available for the second tank in this two tank air cart application. If you'll notice on this air cart, there is also a uh, gear shaped uh, logo in the center. This is our clutch key. And when I tap it, it will turn on. And when I tap it, it'll turn off. The last area we'll talk about on the interface is the speed source. Right next to the wheel here is located our drop down menu for speed source. For a five series air cart to function and meter, it requires a speed source. And with the five series air cart, four different speed sources can be selected. The first one we'll talk about is air cart wheel speed. This is a speed source or a speed signal that comes from a built-in wheel speed sensor that's located on the rear tire of the air cart. One warning with using this speed source is that this needs to be calibrated, and we'll show you that in a different video. The next options, as you can see listed up here, is tractor ISO VT, or tractor ISO speed source. This is a speed source that is coming through the can line or through the CAN communication line from the back of the tractor and is generated uh, in the tractor through its uh, internal computer architecture. This speed source is a preferred speed source when we're using any advanced functions on the air cart, such as sectional control or curve compensation. The next one listed down here is VT ISO speed source. This is very similar to tractor ISO speed source but is the tractor ISO speed source that is to be used when we're running a 5 series air card in a standalone application where the monitor that is used to display it is getting a speed source from a GPS signal but is not tied internally to the tractor. And the last speed source that I'll talk about 
is manual wheel speed source. Uh, this wheel speed source allows you to input a manual wheel speed, which basically means that the air cart will then function at that speed. So if you peg in five miles an hour, the air cart will now meter as if it's going or use that speed to create do its meter calculations and will meter or distribute seed as if it's traveling five miles an hour. This speed source is uh, something that can be used in emergency situations when either your wheel speed sensor uh, is function not functioning or has been damaged or there is an issue by, uh, with sending wheel speed or a speed source from the tractor either a GPS issue or some other tractor issue. It's a handy feature that allows you to keep moving or keep seating uh, when something uh, other than the air cart has an issue. The last thing we want to show you on the 5 Series interface on the run screen is the lower half. The lower half displays section status. The 5 Series air cart can come standard with manual sectional control, where you can manually shut off sections and turn them on. Using the task controller programming for the AFS Pro 1200 or the Pro 700, this can be automated for you. You'll also notice that we have two section tabs. With the latest software for the 5 Series air cart, each tank has sectional control based off its own individual settings. And it's an added feature that lets you better tune your sectional control applications and prevent any misses or skips in the field. The 5 Series air cart also allows you to shut off uh, auto sectional control for certain tanks or for all tanks. In this case, I will turn on auto sectional control for the bottom. Since we don't have task controller, installed or operating right now, the bottom section has been blanked off. This has been an overview of the run screen for the Precision Aircart 5 Series interface.